Our RDT 2.1 solves the problem of corrupted acknowledgements using stop and wait and sequence numbers. The sender FSM starts at the state of waiting for packet zero. On the arrival of data from layer above, with a call of RDT send, the packet is made with sequence number zero and sent using UDT send. The sender then enters the state of waiting for acknowledgement for packet zero. It will stay in this state until a packet with a non-corrupt positive acknowledgement arrives, taking the sender to the wait for the next packet from layer above, which will have sequence number one. The same exact process continues for sequence number one. Remember that corrupt acknowledgements or correct negative acknowledgements will repeat the send UDT of the last packet and keep the sender at the state waiting for the correct and non-corrupted acknowledgement. On the receiver side, starting in the state of waiting for packet zero, if a non-corrupt packet with sequence number zero is received, data is extracted from the packet and sent to layer above. Acknowledgement for packet zero is sent and the state is changed for waiting for packet one. The same process will repeat for packet one. So if a non-corrupt packet with sequence number one is received, data is extracted from packet and sent to layer above. Acknowledgement for packet one is sent and the state is changed for waiting for packet zero. While in this state waiting for packet one, if a corrupt packet arrives, the packet will be discarded and a NAC for packet one will be sent to the sender. If a packet arrives, but it has sequence number zero, again, it will be discarded as it is a duplicate packet, but an acknowledgement for packet zero will be sent to the sender. The same process while waiting for packet zero will be expected, meaning a correct packet with a wrong sequence number will result in a discard and an act for the sequence number previously act, and a corrupt packet will result in a discard and knack. In short, in RDT 2.1, an attempt to resolve the fatal flaw we observed in RDT 2.0 which was ignoring the possibility of corrupt ACK and NAC, we added sequence numbers to the design. Two sequence numbers, zero and one, were enough because we were using stop and wait. Can you think why? Correctness of ACKs and NACs were checked and we had twice as many states, each for one of the sequence numbers. On the receiver side, we checked for duplicate packets using the state waiting for the packet with the right sequence number. Note that during this procedure, receiver does not know if its last ACK or NAC received OK at the sender. Please think about why this does not cause a problem. 